Did you know there is a country that will never ask you for a visa? It's 100% visa free, which means everyone from any country can come here without applying for a visa. What? Morocco! Iran! India! It's visa free, cost free, and that's very rare to see. Welcome to Venezuela! The Seychelles is a small island in Africa where a hundred thousand people live. They have some of the best beaches in the world. It is also the richest country in Africa with the most powerful African passport. Most countries in the world close their borders and ask for a visa. That's why it's beautiful to see the Seychelles, a paradise that is open for everyone. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. The country we are going to next is for me the hardest country to enter. No, it's not North Korea, it's Australia! Bye! Oh my Malta! A year ago, I applied for a visa to enter Australia, but then I got rejected. Then I wanted to connect in Australia to go to New Zealand, but I got rejected. Then I applied for another visa again and I got rejected. I was ready to move on because I thought an entire country just does not want me in. But the fourth and last time I applied, I got the visa. And I'm finally stepping foot in the country of Australia! A visa rejection or any rejection is just one person saying no to you. But remember, for every person that says no, there's another that says yes! Welcome to Australia! I was banned from entering this specific country because of my Israeli passport, but I really wanted to see it. So, I went and bought another passport from a Caribbean country for $150,000 to show you this country. Welcome to Malaysia! This country is unique. One, the prices. Everything here is affordable. Two, the food. It's delicious. Wow. Oh. <laughs> the people. They were kind and diverse. Nice daily. Yeah. 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 Nice daily. I know you. <laughs> My short time in Malaysia taught me. Governments are different from people. Governments may ban each other, but people don't have to. Deep down inside, we just want to connect. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This is an American passport. It's powerful. It's amazing. If you are an American, no one can mess with you. I want this passport and many people in the world do. Because this comes with the American dream. But I have just arrived to a place where people have the citizenship, but not the dream. This is a community in Puerto Rico that was struck by a hurricane six months ago. And until now, these guys have no electricity, no rooftops, no cell service, and some don't even have clean water. These are American citizens who have served their country that are now living on car batteries, basic water filters, high schoolers, and patients. This is not a conservative versus liberal. This is not a Republican versus Democrat. This is an American issue. If a country is as strong as its most vulnerable members, then how strong is an American citizenship? That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Okay, this is interesting. The country you see behind me is as hard for me to enter as North Korea. Because this is Malaysia. With my Israeli passport, it's almost impossible for me to enter their country and even more impossible for them to enter mine, all because of politics. It's simple. Malaysia and Israel are not friends. But over the past week, I got to make a lot of Malaysian friends here in Singapore. I got to know a lot more about their culture, their food and their language. Jump! <laughs> For now, my friendship with Malaysians could only exist outside of Israel and outside of Malaysia. 
But I am convinced that one day, when governments make peace, we will meet inside of Malaysia, inside of Israel, and inside of Palestine. Inshallah! That's what I mean!